Hey guys, so I have my monthly makeup basket for you. These are the products I use all throughout May. Um, so how I do mine, if this is the first time you've watched one of mine, is I talk about the products after I've used them. So I can tell you how I liked them, um, how I used them. Just I can give you more information instead of just listing off products I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start in the order I apply this to my face. So first thing I do is I use a lip balm just to kind of treat my lips while I'm doing my makeup. And I'm using the Sierra Bees brand. It's the Organic Mint Burst Lip Balm. It comes in a little green tube. There's a lot of different flavors. Um, I got this off of iHerb. It was actually my only purchase from that website, fun fact. But yeah, I like it, um, so I just keep that in my drawer and that's what I use. And then I go on and I do my eyes first because if I get messy, I can clean it up. Um, so the eyeshadow primer I'm using is the Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow primer. I love this primer. It's perfect for every day. It's very inexpensive, so this is what I've been using. And then I like to set my primer with a matte shadow in like a white or bone shade and I've been using my single eyeshadow from Ulta. This is actually included in my um, Pan That palette so I will update you more on that in that video which will be coming up next week so stay tuned. Um, but I do use this and then this month I've been using my Pan That palette. Like I said we'll have an update in here but I've been using the shades in here to create like my crease um, and to set my liner and to brighten up the inner corner, things like that. And then I also do one month one palette, which again, I will have a more detailed update video on. But this month I chose to use the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette. And I really like it. I think it's because I'm so fair skinned. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty palette. Um, but yeah, I will be talking more about this in that video. So look for that. Um, that also will be next week. But um, for other eye products, I do use a kind of like sticky base. And this is from Essence. It's the 2-in-1 Eyeshadow and Liner. Um, it's just this kind of like creamy beige shade. Um, so that's it right there. And I just kind of blend it in. And, you know, it, it brightens the eyes. And it also gives the shadow something to stick on to. Um, this is in the shade Light Me Up. But they do have other shades available. But I'm pretty sure that's the lightest one. For eyeliner, I'm using the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Nude Eyeliner for my waterline. I love this pencil. And then for my upper lash line, I've been using the Laura Geller Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Deep Purple. Um, I've been using the purple shade in my Pan That Palette to, um, it's, just, it's just mechanical, I don't know what I'm showing you. But um, I've been using the purple shade in my Pan That Palette to set it. So that is the shade of it there. So it's definitely a deep plum. You, I do have it on today. You can't really tell. I don't think um, and if you can it's just a fun little pop of color and then for mascara the essence lash princess and this is the false lash effect I do like them both but I think I like this one better um, so this wand is very basic um, it just has the normal bristles no crazy shapes or anything but I really enjoy this I think it's a great great mascara and it's like less than five bucks so awesome okay then I move on to my face and I've been using a combination of two primers so the first one I use this one all over my face this is my all-time favorite primer I get a lot of questions about it um, it's the buy shop tea tree pore minimizer I think I get questions because you don't hear about it talked about that much but um, it's a pore minimizer and it doesn't fill your pores so it's not silicone -y. it's not going to clog your pores it's just a light um, green gel it does have tea tree in it which for me I enjoy so that is the consistency it's not running down my hand um, and then when I rub it in I mean it's just a light gel it does have a tea tree scent to it but I really like it because I just feel like it preps the skin it makes my skin feel like it's ready to go um, once it's rubbed in it's very soft and just kind of smoothing I would say and it does have a slight mattifying effect not nothing crazy it doesn't like keep you matte all day but it just um, I don't know it just makes your, fin your skin feel just really soft and I really enjoy it. I've loved this for years. It's my holy grail go-to kind of primer. Um, so I put that basically all over. I only use a little bit. And then I'm using the Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer 
that's a long name. Um, I use this in my T-zone, so where I get oily, because I do have oily skin. And I do get oily everywhere, but it's worse in my forehead, around my nose, and my chin. So I pat some of this on. Um, it does help with mattifying. It's great for every day. It's not something that's going to keep you matte for a super, super long time. But um, it works for every day. I'm really happy with it. I do have it on today with like a lighter foundation, and I really enjoy it. It works for me. Um, at the end of the day, I am a little bit greasy, but I don't really care too much. Okay, so the next I put on two concealers. The first one is the Pixi um, Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and I have the shade Peach. There is a darker shade, um, but there are only two shades, so this is it. It does work really well. I just put it in the inner corner. I have, this is my second one. I finished up an entire one, so I really love it. I like the consistency. It's not too dry, but it's also not too creamy. It um, allows for other concealers to layer over it really well. And then if I have any blemishes, which I always do on my chin because I like pick at it, which is so bad, but mmm, those sebaceous filaments, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, um, I have the Wet n Wild uh, concealer, the Photo Focus one from their newer range. I actually, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I just don't like it for under my eye because it's too dark. And this is the lightest shade. This is the shade Light Ivory. Not that light, um, in my opinion. But I like it for um, blemishes. So I put this down first, just a, you know, like a dot wherever I need it. And then I blend it in and then I go over with my foundation. Because my normal foundation isn't like super heavy coverage. It's kind of like a light medium coverage, I would say. So having this down first helps me um, so I don't have like too many layers on, if that makes sense. So the foundation I keep talking about is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, it does smell like paint. For sure it does. I'm not going to deny it. Um, yeah, definitely paint. But for me, it goes away almost instantaneously, so it doesn't bother me. I have the shade um, Shell Ivory. If you are curious, it's a fair neutral shade. Um, I do feel like it oxidizes a tiny bit, um, but I do have it on today. It's kind of like my everyday foundation. I mean, you can still see my skin. You can still see redness. You can still see some splotchiness. Um, but I like it for every day and it doesn't wear super long, but for me it works with that primer and then the powder I use, it works. So yeah, I really enjoy this. I'm getting to the end. I probably will repurchase this for summer um, because it's a really cheap foundation and then they do have a pretty good shade selection. So yeah, I enjoy it. I know some people don't, but I do. And then I go in for underneath my eyes for concealer to brighten up the area. And my favorite one is the NYX HD concealer. I keep going back to this. I get the shade Fair. Um, though if I do get more of a tan this summer, I probably will buy another color that would work better. But um, yeah, I really enjoy it. It works for me. So I just keep going back to it. And it's very inexpensive. I do have another foundation that I do occasionally use because I only have two foundations. I have um, the Wet n Wild one and then I have this one. This is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation and this is very mattifying. Um, I actually mix it with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the travel size in the shade Moonstone. Um, but yeah, so I do mix these together and I use a damp beauty blender to really get it into my skin and I spend a lot of time working it into my skin. But I really enjoy this. Um, again, I have oily skin, so this is a little bit heavier. It definitely is more long wearing. It's more mattifying. And that's why I need, I need a, I want in my life an everyday foundation and then a more heavy duty one. Sometimes I mix them. Sometimes I just do this one. Sometimes I just do that one. But yeah, so I did want to mention that because I have been um, wearing it here and there for different reasons, interviews, stuff like that. So yeah, um, if you don't know, one of my routines is after I have all my cream products on my face, I spray my face with my setting spray and I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. I really like it. Um, it does the trick for me. I have a bigger size, but I just decant it into the smaller size because then it doesn't take up so much room in my drawer. Um, if you want, I am going to be doing a makeup collection, just side note, um, soon, but if you want to see like my organization from an everyday drawer, let me know because I, let me know if you want it in a, the same video or separate videos? That's what I want to know. That's, that's my question. Let me know. Okay. So while my face dries from the setting spray, if you're following, I do my brows. And to do my brows, I use the NYX Tame and Frame, and this is in the shade Blonde. I really have learned to like this. I do have it through my brows today. I don't do sculpty brows. I just want them filled in. I do have sparse, like kind of bald spots. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy it. I am making good progress in here. So I previously had the Anastasia Dip Brow, um, and then I went to this one. And I don't know. I might go back. I don't know. They're a little bit different, in my opinion. So... 
And then some days I use the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Blonde to set them. I did that today. I feel like it lightens them up if I go a little bit too heavy handed. Um, it also gives a little bit more dimension and obviously holds them in place. But that's because I had places to be today and people to see. But if I was just hanging out at home, I probably wouldn't have put it in. But anyway. Okay. So after my brows are done, my face is dry, I'm ready to powder. Underneath my eyes, I'm using the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder. This is in my Rolling 5 pan. It's all right, I'm just trying to use it up. I don't know if I necessarily need a separate under eye powder or not, but I'm curious to try other things under there. So yeah, I'm gonna finish that one up. And then for my face, this is my favorite powder of life, basically the only powder I use. It's the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. It's expensive, but to me it's worth every penny. I do prefer in the loose version, um, I use less product this way. And the loose version and the pressed version, they cost the same, but when you look at the ounces, you're getting more in the loose version. So. I like that too. But anyway, this is the powder I use. I swear by it. It works wonders. For face products, um, this month I used the Physician for Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is the darker one. I, at, when I bought this, I didn't know that there was a lighter one. So this is the darker one. It still works for me. I use the Real Techniques um, blush brush, this big one. So I just sweep it on all over. It works really well. I really enjoy this bronzer. So happy with that. For my contour, I've been using my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in my little book here. Um, so it's this one here. I've been using this for over, like about a year and a half straight. Still don't have a pan, but I'm also very fair and don't use a lot. But yeah, um, I actually didn't contour today, but I usually do um, and I really enjoy this powder. For blush this month, I was working out of my Too Faced Love Flush palette. Um, and this is like mini sizes of all of their... Um, permanent shades and I really enjoy this. I missed out on it but I hunted it down um, and I feel very like lucky that I found it. So I've been using this shade I Will Always Love You which is this peachy, um, I can give you a swatch, this peachy shade which I really like peaches on me. Um, I feel like they give you a good, I don't know, breath of life. That's not a sentence. Okay, that's what it looks like. Um, I do have it very lightly on today. Obviously this is a thicker swatch um, when you blend it out. It's more of, you know, a lighter peach, but I enjoy it. Um, I do have a goal of hitting pan on a blush, and it probably will be that one, if we're being honest. So I'm going to keep using that, I'm sure. Okay, I need to wrap this up. For <laughs> highlighter, I've been mixing two. So the Laura Geller Baked um, French Vanilla. I love this. It is a great highlighter. If you need something for every day that's not shimmery, this is what you want. Um, it just adds a nice little sheen. It looks very opaque there, but I swear it's not. Um, you kind of, you know, rub it in so it's on the corner of my hand here and it just gives a nice reflection. I do have it on today. You can't really tell. It just makes me look a little bit brighter than I normally would. So I really enjoy that. And if I want a little papau and I put it just on the top of my cheekbone, I've been using the highlighter in this palette, um, which is the candlelight powder, which is very pretty. Um, but also not like the most insane highlighter I've ever seen in my life, if that makes sense. I have it swatched down here. I don't even think you can tell. Anyway, that's what I've been using. Um, and then I also have been using my Hourglass Dim Light. I actually use this to blend my neck and chest to match my face um, because this foundation does oxidize just a teeny tiny bit. Um, so this is where I'm at. I am panning this. So yeah. And then for my lips, which I have on today is another item that I'm panning, but I love this product. It's the Buxom Full On Lipstick, and this is in the shade Amsterdam. I love it. It's in a crayon form, just twists up, um, really easy to apply. I love it. There is a sharpener down here so you can get a nice pointed tip if you want to line your lips. Highly recommend these if you are looking for a new lipstick. And that's my makeup for the month. I hope you didn't mind this going a little bit long. Um, and yeah, let me know what you want to see from me or say hi or answer my question about the whole collection, everyday drawer, how you would prefer that to be set up. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let this end here, <laughs> but it was nice talking to you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video.